Hi, this is Nia Me with Sword and Steel, and today I'd like to show you how I painted this sister in the Order of the Bloody Rose. For such a angry, savage group of sisters, the fact that this one was just spreading flowers around, I mean, yes, it does represent the bloody rose, but it just didn't seem to suit the, the anger and ferocity of these sisters. So I thought it to make it a little bit more chilling to make certain that those roses were actually in a bed of blood. Now she's just on a base stuck with uh, two-sided tape because, of course, she's part of the Triumph of St. Catherine diorama. Very first thing I'll do is just get all the base colors on her so I know where I want to go with her. And, oh yes, and she was braced with uh, wraith bone spray. First things first, let's try out Black Templar for all of the black initially, starting from the top and working my way down. Now we want a smooth finish, so I'm going to lay this on pretty heavily and then just grab the bottom. I don't want any streaks or unnatural pooling, so I must move fast to get the Black Templar on where I want it before it starts drying. So the key colors in Order of the Bloody Rose is black vestments, which is why her cloak is going all black, red armor, and very minor white highlights or accents, with a little bit of gold there. As the sister retributor Roxana Desro of Order of the Bloody Rose says, burn, heretic, and as you burn, know that I do not cleanse you out of any desire to save your soul or shrive you of your mortal sins. I put you to the torch because I hate you, because all that you are and all you have done revolts me, and because those who stray from the light of the Emperor deserve only annihilation. And that is Order of the Bloody Rose to a T. Now I'll be laying on the red of the armor, which is an even mix of the Citadel contrast paints, Flesh Terror's Red and Blood Angel's Red. Trim can be white. That means I have to be very, very careful about this. Sisters from the Order of the Bloody Rose may be the most zealous fighters amongst the ranks. They are known for bellowing their prayers, <laughs> as well as honing any violent impulses that they originally have into hatred towards the unfaithful and heretics and aliens, mutants, anything they consider to be against the Emperor's will, and focus that hate in martial prowess. Uh, well, there she is right now. Alright, now, let's pick up the extra small artificer to do that backpack in our armor red. Now, I'm going to put some metal over this, but the metal is going to cover that red really easily, so I don't need to be too particular. Alright, I get the impression that she doesn't put down her hood too often, so I'm going to choose to give her dark old flesh. I'll do the apothecary white on her hair first, because I am just going to put her hair as a dyed white hair of a sister of battle. Defined brush. Um, um, um. And 
and I'll leave that to dry before I put on her face. Vallejo gold metal color ear. I should not have put that on a wet palette because it really doesn't need to be watered down, but that's alright. I'll just use it quickly. Just have to be careful when you're using these airbrush metal colors. They are very liquidy. You know what? These are like teardrops. I'm definitely going to make gold a lovely gold, but all of these little teardrop things I'm going to make as if they're rubies. And her fleur de lis. And you down here. The candle design on her backpack, the candle holder, and dirt aluminum. We'll go in the metal on her backpack and the little buttons on the back of it. She, you, yeah, you should be red. Alright, so I think the black is done enough that I can now highlight it with more black Templar. So I'm just gonna put black Templar in all the creases. Their matriarch, Mina, when she was at last slain, it was said that her body was found with 20 of the heretic cult members surrounding her in a circle of blood. So I think that the bloody rose is actually a symbolization of her surrounded by a beautiful circle of bloody corpses. Okay, now, what color should this be? Oh, it's the bloody rose, so... I'll just go Blood Angels Red for you. Let's do that face now. I'm sorry you can't see it very well here, but all I'm doing is dropping a drop on her face and letting it spread. I think I'll do keep these white as well. Right now I'm defining the shadows of the white with some black templar, some watered down black templar. So the top flowers will be dry and the other ones will be that are at that level will be all wet. And she will have just have grabbed some, so her hand's going to be soaked in blood, and, and so are those flowers for the most part. And those, some of them will still look dry because flowers, uh, and the petals just, water just drops right off them, or beads. So representing that, Irish Flow Improver, Blood for the Blood God, Black Templar, Flush hair's red. Flow improver. And let's just get in there. I guess it would work if I was using white flowers, but I'm not supposed to be using white flowers. I'm supposed to be using red flowers. Alright, now that we're at the top, let's just use the brushed flesh here. Red on these. That 
that's what my gore filled plate looks like at the moment. Not quite what I was going for. We'll see what it looks like when it dries. In the meantime, I guess we shall uh, fire slayer flesh that gold. Just here and there, making reflected shadows. I went with this gold and the fire slayer flesh um, because I'm I am searching for a realistic old gold, well used metal. I think this combination might get me there. As you can see, I'm not actually being uniform with my application. Um, I guess I, while I'm waiting for that to dry still, let's do the candles. Uh, Akaros Dune with the candles. Uh, nope. Not Akaros Dune with the candles. Um, well, actually, no, that, that's fine. I'm going, I'm going to scoot in some Dark Old Flesh, though. Akaros Dune plus Dark Old Flesh. Put it on and then mostly wipe it off again. Agro's Dune, Dark Old Flesh. Put it on. On. And wipe it off again. Just needed a cream. And the Agro's Dune gets the tan and the Dark Old Flesh gets the fleshy, the little bit hint of pink. So, she could. I think I'll scoot in another little layer of the dark oak flesh on her face. A bit. Darken it up a little. Um, do a touch of red on her lips. I think we're gonna use my masterclass for a touch of red on her lips. All right, let's have a look at what she looks like again. Getting there, I think. I still need to do the hand underneath, I see. Yeah, it's a Getting there. Dark Oath flesh that hand. I think I'll leave that white. It looks even better. I think. See it? I think I will leave that white. Time to speck those little flames with uh, and and yellow. Alright, I think all that metal is dry, so we want non oil. Long oil over all the silver metal. Now I need chrome and or armor gold. Hmm, I don't know. I'm not certain. I think it might just be too sparkly. You know, that might work. I think I'm warming up to it. But have a look. You tell me what you think. What do you think of the gold? I'll show you again when I've finished the, the uh, gemstones, I guess. Uh, right, gemstones is chrome. Right, and these little guys. How is it dried? It's actually dried pretty well that I, the way I wanted it to. See, it dried where towards the bottom is still glossy. 
the top isn't glossy, but that's not enough of an effect. So let's grab out our blood for the blood guard. Thin it down with the flow improver. Wash out the thick part in our brush and add more around these lower petals. And the ones that should still be mostly submerged in blood. All right. And now her hand and these two. Should I have it spilling off? Or has she kept it nicely for all of this time? Are you dry enough, Chrome? I think you are. So Nice and carefully, my blood for the blood gods on the chrome. Up, down, up, down. Now, uh, let's highlight that white with Vallejo model color white using the edge of my brush. These thorns on the sigil will also be white. Ground orange, just for the top of those candles. Just a bit. Here is what she looks like right now. Let's just change a little bit of these top flowers so that they are quite different from the ones in blood. What am I going to put on them? Will I try Evil Sun Scarlet? Too orange. Let's give it a go. Uh, I don't know. Let's mix in that white to the Evil Sun Scarlet and try that. Just placing it here and there along the top ridges of some of the roses. Well, I like it better. Mm. So I'm going to use this matte varnish, and if it does what it's supposed to do, then the flowers on top will be very matte, and that'll emphasize the wetness down below. Alright, I'm choosing Air Rust Grey mixed with some Black Templar for the highlights of that black. It should be minor highlights. You shouldn't really be able to see it too much, but hopefully it will just emphasize the black itself. So the spoiler for the 9th edition of 40k is pretty awesome. I very much enjoyed the heavy involvement of the sisters. My guess is going to be that they're coming out with a new Sisters Battle Start Collecting, which would be fantastic. I think I'll do one more thing though. I think I'll give that black shadow. Surface Primer Black, which is very lovely once it's mixed, once it's shaked. It's a very lovely black. And it's a matte black. Definitely want a matte black. Nice high shadows now. Nice long shadows. Long shadows with 
confident strokes. Definitely dark in that area. Dark, 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 dark. Dark. Well, dark facing downward. In these shadows, oh, I nearly forgot the prayer beads. Prayer beads. Uh, right under here should definitely be dark. In there should be dark. Under here should be dark. Everything is three dimensional, so should be. Shadows. So right up there should be dark. Time to brighten up those buttons in the back. First with the metallic green. That seems nice. Um, this metallic green is just a uh, Vallejo Premium airbrush color. And a metallic blue. You could just use the Citadel, um, gemstone effects, but I've got it, so I shall use it. That little inner there, blue. I nearly forgot to do her prayer beads, which I'm doing in Vallejo Gloss Black Primer to give it that obsidian, shiny ball look. Just one coat is enough. These are teeny weeny prayer beads, so I don't need to worry too much about them. And this gloss black is very glossy, so you should be able to see it from a distance. Well, you know, kind of a distance. I also realized that I'd like to highlight that red a bit more, so I'm taking some Flesh Terrors Red and just putting it on the bottom portions. I'm using it as a shadow for the backpack and the armor. I am also realizing as I'm doing this that I think I'm going to get those little white spots on her arm very carefully. And no, I tell you, I didn't mess this up once. Mm -mm. Darn it. I'm quite happy with her at this point, but if I do feel like she needs to have any other extra touches, I'll be doing that when I'm putting all the pieces of the triumph together. Here she is with her sister, the sister of the ebon chalice there with her. I think they look great, and I just might have to use these bases for my sisters. They're game grass. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that was useful to you. Um, all of the paints and the paintbrushes that I use will be in the description below, as well as other videos that I think you might like, as well as this other parts of the series of this. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!